Hi everybody and welcome back to Honestly KDP. My name is Laura. Um, today I just wanted to review um, Tangent Templates because I feel like it's an awesome tool. It's a one-time cost of $59 and it includes so much that you can use if you're publishing books to KDP. So right here on the home page uh, you see that they have a lot of different papers that you can download. Um, let's say that you wanted to create a sheet music book. Um, you can just click on here, put the trim size if you want to do a six by nine or whatever you want to do, and then put the number of pages that you want to include. Um, you can put with bleed or without and then just download into your ear and you'll have automatically 129 pages. Um, what I usually do is like if I want 120 pages, I'll just put 119, download that, and then make the little um, like belongs to page to put in the front and then um, this and that cover page uh, together with I love PDF. Um, and then you can upload that interior to your book. Another feature that they have is interior design, which is amazing. Some of these features I have not tr really tried yet. Um, this one I really want to use. I was just experimenting with it and it's really great, especially if you want to create a really unique book, guided journals or manifestation journals or those kind of things you can actually create really unique and awesome designs here. As you see, they have text, line, box, circle, images. You can put a line here, make it as long as you want. Here you can change it to a dotted line, send a back, send a front. You can align it top, middle, bottom, um, or you can also just move it. Um, you can tilt it. Oops. There we go. And then change the width and everything, duplicate. And then over here for text, you can add a text box. Oh, there we go. Right. And then here you can add a box and you can fill it. Um, you can change the borders here. So if you just make this big. Put it over here, you can put this up here, and send a front. There we go. Um, you can put lines in here. Um, over here they have circles as well, so you can just add a circle. You can just create really unique things. Over here they have images. Add little images in here and then um, also under the images they have checklists you can add in you can put this inside here right and then um, they also have journal elements so they have the arrows the banners um, when I saw that was cute, it's like this one, add this in. Vision boards, you can add a, a complete page like that, add a new page. Up here you go pages, add a page. And then that's another thing, so they have, already have all these different styles. So you can add a page that looks like this for your next page. Add another page that looks like this. And another page that's just a checklist so that looks um, so it's completely unique um, and then um, tangent builder that's another one um, that's mainly it's almost the same as like where the pages are like you can create a 200 page book then you select what paper you want to use and then you can download that KDP Helper is the one that I use most often. Uh, it's one of the ones that I use most often. If you want to 
figure out the size for your cover and stuff um, and interiors, you would just go here, eight and a half by 11, how many pages do you want to include, interior bleed, yes or no, continue, and it'll give you your cover and interior um, dimensions so that you can put those into, into Canva or wherever you're creating your book. Um, the listing helper, probably my favorite so far um, feature. Um, here you can create a listing um, and then you can just upload that. Here's even the keyword boxes, author name, uh, categories. You can have it so that it automatically fills out when you have a new book, if, especially if you have a lot of books that are similar. Like if you're um, publishing a lot of just line journals, um, you could just type, you know, journal, um, subtitle if you want, or you can leave that blank. Write your description, you know, the features, the size, all that, whatever you want to add in your description. Um, and then fill in, what I usually do is just fill in like four or five of my keyword boxes with the main items. So it'll be like journal, diary, whatever you want to include, or a long tail keyword. And then I leave a couple blank um, to fill in with the niche. Um, that I'm creating the journal around. So it's a frog, then you can click frog, uh, green, toad, whatever, whatever other words would describe um, your journal cover and design. And then you would, of course, put, if you have like a author name for the specific niche that you're working in, then you can put that in as well. And that will automatically populate in KDP and then your categories. When you go to want to go to use it, you'll just click on this little button up here for your extensions. Go to Tangent Templates Lift List Helper. Um, and, and here it's going to populate the different listings that you have. Um, I don't really want to go start a book right now because I don't have anything to upload, but that's where you're going to reach it right there. Um, you'll click, it'll have a drop down box and you'll click like journal and then um, it will automatically populate. Like when you click on here, create a paperback. Here, um, and then that's when you're going to click on here. And it will automatically populate here. So then here is the category explorer. So let's say you wanted to, you were writing a book about, or have a coloring book or whatever about dinosaurs. So you would just write dinosaur and it will show you what categories are appropriate for that niche. Um, it also has a browser, so you can um, look through each one if you wanted to. Also has a pricing calculator, so if you say you have a paperback, 100 pages, and you charge $6.99 US dollars, calculate. It'll show you your estimated royalties for each country. And under more tools, and I just found some of these, which are actually really awesome as well. They do have a pen name generator, um, image converter, convert into KDP ready PDFs, um, calculate the DPI necessary, like what size your image will need to be to be at 300 DPI. They also have a quick mock-up, make a 3D mock-up of your book cover um, and a trademark search right in within here. Um, and then interior reference guide. And I just saw these two, which are kind of cool. It's like the cover panels. So you can add these to your notebooks, books, just to have as a, like a belongs to page or like for, uh, composition notebooks right on the cover. They're pretty cool. So yeah, for $59, I think this was one of my first tool purchases and um, that was probably a year ago and I'm still using it very often and now that I found some of these other things that I can do with it I'll be using it more often I'm sure 
So it's totally worth a $59 one-time fee. It's not monthly, it's one-time $59 to use for life. That's basically all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Thank you.